is News 8 from Wood TV. We are now under three weeks away from Election Day, and both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump will be back in Michigan today. We have team coverage for you of Vice President Harris's rally in Grand Rapids. News 8's Duncan McLean is outside the rally right now. But first, let's get to News 8's political reporter, Rick Albin, who's inside the rally at Riverside Park. Rick. It's another day, and the head of both of the major parties are in Michigan. It's no particular surprise. You said less than three weeks. It's 18 days if you're counting, and there will be a lot more activity here in Michigan. I'll try to explain why. There are about seven states that are going to decide this race. Those are the so-called battleground states. It's Georgia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Nevada, and Arizona, and, of course, Michigan. But for Michigan, it's a little different equation. There have been only two Democrats to win the White House without winning Michigan, only two since 1948. So for a Democrat to get to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, they need to win Michigan. It's just that simple. And right now, this state is too close to call with a real clear political average, having Donald Trump with a slight advantage here, as they do in all of the battleground states. But there's such a small margin that it's really anybody's race to win. And that's why you'll continue to see the Harris campaign and the Trump campaign try to make inroads into any persuadable votes that are still out there. There. So much of this vote is already baked in. Nothing can be done about that. But there could be those people who, for whatever reason, haven't made up their mind. And those are the people who could decide these races in Michigan and other battleground states. I'm going to step back for just a second because I want you to see the crowd that started to come in. This crowd is just a small percentage of the people that are lined up for about a quarter of a distance of the park and then all the way back over to Monroe Street. There are tons of people out here here today but what really is the point of a rally like this because all of those people are already going to vote for the Harris ticket that's obvious they showed up here today it's the same thing for Trump events those people that show up are people who are going to vote but if you look right over here this is one of the reasons these events happen this event will be beamed around the state around the country and in some cases around the world once again the idea is to find persuadable voters. You say at this late stage, is it possible? It is possible, but it's very difficult. It needs a lot of hands-on work by the campaigns and the candidates, and that's why we will continue to see them here in Michigan coming up next week. Both former President Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama will be in the Detroit area on behalf uh, of the uh, harris Walls ticket. You can expect to see other principals and surrogates from both sides between now and Election Day. We're live at Riverside Park, Rick Albert, News 8. Certainly busy now this election season, that's for sure. Rick, thank you. Let's get to News 8's Duncan McLean. He's outside of the rally. Duncan, what are you seeing? We're live outside the Guild Street entrance to Riverside Park, and excitement is certainly building here ahead of this event. We were told it's invite only, and as you can see by the size of the queue that's building behind us, they sent out a lot of invites, hundreds, maybe even a 1,000 people lining up along the entry driveway over the bridge and across the pond there waiting to get into this event. It's a high-profile event so far, but... Harris and Walsh aren't the only high-profile Democrats in town today. Governor Gretchen Whitmer arrived this morning alongside Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey, New York Governor Kathy Hochul, Tony Evers from Wisconsin, Josh Shapiro from Pennsylvania, and Wes Moore from Maryland. They pulled up for a coffee stop aboard a Harris Walsh branded bus and unloaded at the Stray near Division and 44th for a stop and some mingling with swing state voters. Afterward, driving home the importance of building support in communities like Grand Rapids all over the Midwest. This is a group of happy warriors for Harrison Walls. We are talking to everyone. We are getting into communities that sometimes are written off because we believe everyone matters. We believe that every vote's important and we're working hard to earn them. 
The reception at the Stray was a mix of awe and surprise. While the staff had plenty of heads up, some of the patrons were shocked at the sudden crowd as this group of governors walked in. We overheard Whitmer asking people about their plans to vote, their careers and hopes for the country, and she even mingled with the next generation of voters. Of course, football was, of course, a topic of conversation with two governors representing NFC North States, along with Walsh coming into town representing Minnesota. Whitmer said that we're all on the same team, that is, until Sunday at 1 o'clock when she hopes the Lions will crush Tim Walsh's Minnesota Vikings. By way of housekeeping, if you're coming down to the Riverside Park area today and are planning to park anywhere near, I wouldn't bother. The street spots are pretty much completely full for a few blocks in every direction. Things are going to get pretty hairy here as we get closer and closer to the event. In Grand Rapids, Duncan McLean, News 8.